Hey guys, me and Alex are back and ready for a first here on our trying videos. We have got an awesome box of Swedish candy. Yeah, and it's not just a little bit of Swedish candy to start us. It is all of it, I apparently. Think this has to be one of our biggest boxes. One of the biggest. Do you not yeah. think? Yeah. So, it's like a chest. You know, like it's literally like a chest. You should have like seen a how it chest came. Full of Packed food. So amazingly, shall we start with the letter as yeah. always? Let me start by saying your writing is so nice. It's Isn't beautiful. that nice? And it looks like they've. It might just be a pen, but it looks like it's written with one of those really fancy, I do not nice think pens. It almost seems like Japanesey style writing. So it says here, "Hi, Kate and Alex. Here comes a box of Swedish goodies. I think you need some variation now that you have tasted half of America. That's very true. Mm. I have sent some of my own favourites as well as popular Swedish sweets. That's really nice. I love your videos, and I'm a happy subscriber of your candy box. Enjoy, Madeline." Yes, I've actually received a few Instagram um, messages from you before. And it's been really nice because what she does is she Instagram stories some of the sweets oh, that are really? in our box nice. and she will give her taste test. Hey, awesome. Um, and then she said uh, it'd be great for us to actually try some yeah. of the Swedish things. Thank you so much. And here's a nice list of what everything is. Yeah, she's, with a little um, breakdown, she's got like a little know. breakdown. You're going to be writing. excited because look what I've seen at the top of the list. Gador, Pike, I don't know what that means. That's the Swedish bit. And it says Swedish fish. And I did look that for. Did you? With taste of elderflower. elderflower. Look Ooh. at these. Truffel. Truffle. Truffle. This is like. Crispy potato chips with taste of truffle. I just love these. And I think I'm going to love these as well because I love. Yeah, truffle. she's written down, I just love these. It sounded like you were saying, I just love these. I was still quoting Madeline. <laughs> it's funny because on this thing, it's almost one of those languages where you can pick out things because this is obvious. It says potato chips, yeah. potato chips. But then this is very like foreign compared to our language, isn't yeah. it? Oh my word, I can smell the truffle. What? <laughs> Look at you! <laughs> I'm like a truffle pig or whatever they're called. I did some. Well, you were keeping the smell all to yourself, or like, give me a sniff. Wow, look at the shape of these. Wow. I'll we'll move them to Sweden. They're crunchy, but if you tried kettle chips, I wouldn't say they were as, like, crisp as that, but they have a lovely bite to it, them, haven't they? I'm in heaven, and I haven't said it for a while. Do you know what these so are? So I'm going to say this now these would be perfect with a beer. I haven't said it for a while. Do you know what these kind of remind me of? I'm going to say they remind you of the Russian mushroom crisps. Yes. If anyone's from the UK and you know where you can get these, please let me know. Mm -hmm. I wonder if you can get these at um, Hobbycraft. What's it called? Ikea. Stop on the, the video new, now. On the new scale, these are an 11. No, these are like a 20. Mm. These are like insane. That is so good. It's hard, it's hard for me to stop that. Now I'm so amped. I was excited for Swedish candy as it was, but now I'm like totally tooty fruity about it. I think they're up there with the best crisps I've ever had. Yeah. 20 out of so. 10. Let's see something that says cheese. Mm -hmm. Should we open and these? these as well. Ooh. So two bags of crisps left. Should we go for the cheese doodles? I like yeah, that. Yes, they look amazing. The cheesier snack, as well we call them in Sweden, our version of Cheetos. <gasps> no I'm way. excited for that. And those Estrella. Estrella, like which the isn't the beer. The beer, mate. Potato chips with onion, onion flavour. flavour. That sounds good. Should so we should do we... the onion ones yeah. first? Because I just think this this packaging is quite like old fashioned, I mm. think, especially compared to that. Yeah. Whoa! I, I think do like crisp with onion flavour, mm. like cheese and. I'm onion. really. These are great. These are really good. They're a lot stronger than our onion. So mm. cheese and onion from the UK. That's because it's just onion. It's just onion. I feel like at first I was like, oh, I'm missing the cheese, but actually it's I'm really liking event. the onion first now. Mm. So yeah. So there are 20, these are a 10. I would say though, in normal Chris terms, I'm probably going to go nine. Mm. Maybe they are a 10. I think they're a 10. I'm most excited for these. I'm sorry, but look like how that. perfect that is. Oh wow. And how small oh, that is. Slim, aren't they? Very slim. Oh, tight. <laughs> I haven't dropped anything I've in a while. I've before. Okay, these are so much denser. Is that the right word? Not no. as much air in them. No. They're a bit more like the, what are the Cheetos that are like cracked or oh, yeah, crunchy, the crunchy ones. Or These more have a taste of our Wotsits compared to Cheetos. 
not ready to go. At first, I wasn't sure if I liked that cheese flavor as much, mm. but these are really good. Wow, they're good. Mm. I think I have to go 10 as well. By the way, this video is not sponsored by Canon. No. <laughs> You've got a Canon camera there and a Why Canon box. I mean, this is being filmed on a Canon. It's not sponsored. Although if Canon would like to get in touch, feel free. That's good stuff. Are you loving life right now? Loving life. Oh, what's this box here? They're biscuits and they are... Oh, Anna's. Well, Who's should Anna? we go for more like of the... Um, oh. Biscuity things. Anna's crispy pepper cackle or ginger things mm. have been baked to the same recipe since 1929 when two sisters, Anna and Emma, why did Anna get a name on it? Yeah, and Emma didn't. <laughs> Carlson opened a home bakery in the Ostermalm district of Stockholm. Almost a hundred years later, Anna's are Sweden's most loved ginger thins and are sold worldwide. They are really thin. Mm. Oh, they must be baked or hardly anything. Maybe that's why they did it. Just flash them in the pan. Mm. Wow. I'm going to put it out there. Are they better than Biscoff? These are better than Lotus Biscoff. Mm. I was literally just saying that. Sorry, stole your thunder. If you can find... No. Oh my word, and we've got a whole They're other packed pack. with flavour, but not like over the top. I reckon that is... Mm. Is that cinnamon there? Must, yeah, that's you, a cinnamon And there's set. cloves. You want... It's like the package, isn't it? it? This is like Christmas. Yeah. If you ever see these in a shop, get them. Oh, they're amazing. Yeah, do you know what they need to make? What? A spread. Yeah. Like, and a spread. This is like what I always say. That. With a cup of tea. Just looks a bit, mm, oh. nothing going for it. Yeah. But do not knock that until you try it. It's absolutely delicious. Cup of tea. Let us know, in Sweden, would you eat, have this with a cup of tea? Yeah. you guys into tea or are you into coffee? What would you have that with? Oh my word, I'm going 10. <laughs> oh, it's a 10. Should we try those ballerinas? Yes, now there is a little interesting fact about this. I wonder why they're called ballerinas. Well, ballerina is a biscuit with a creamy nougat filling. Ballerina is Sweden's most beloved biscuit and Goat Borg's Kex biscuit brand. Every 10th biscuit packet sold in Sweden is a ballerina packet. Wow, I've never seen anything like that. I was thinking every 10th back packet is shaped like a, it's got a ballerina <laughs> on it. Okay, so we've got what looks like a milk, like a chocolate biscuit, more of a vanilla biscuit, and it's filled in the middle with like a nougat, it says, but to me that looks like a chocolate cream. Oh, the biscuit is so crunchy. This is really crunchy, yeah. Mm. I love that chocolate in the middle. You're not so big on the chocolate though, are you? No. Mm. It's nice, but it's got an almost Nutella type taste yeah, to it. Yeah, which is why it? I love it. It is nice. It's, it kind of reminds me of like when we go on holiday and get those like chocolate biscuits. They are better. I think they're better than the Prince's ones so. though. I'm going to give them a nine though. I don't think they're as good as Anna's, but I do really like them. They're good. That's I'd give lot. them an eight though. I'm mm, definitely giving them a nine. Eight. What? Look, there's another nougat thing there. Yeah, do you want to try it? Maybe that? we can work out what they mean by nougat. Yeah. Double nougat. And it's by Marabou. Oh, yeah. With a layer of light almond nougat and a layer of dark creamy hazelnut nougat, this bar combines the best of both worlds. Yeah, what well, it's Should just I just said grab there. a bite first yeah. and then? It does say that almond mm. and hazelnut. It's up. Yeah. We don't call it nougat. Yeah, I think we have a different word of what nougat we, compared to What we call nougat is almost like a candy, isn't it? Mm. It's like you could stretch mm. it. Whereas Mars bar, that's cool this nougat, is, isn't it? This is mm. kind of like God, that's thing made rich. Of rich. I and, don't think anyone could nutty. eat a whole bar, could they? Probably. And nutty. To me, that tastes like praline. Yeah, really tastes like praline. That good. Tastes like praline to us. I wonder if it's mm. like their translation. That is nice though. It's just so um, rich, it just like melts like in your mouth. I'll probably give that a seven. I'm gonna give it an eight. But if you are a praline fan, get that bar, because you you'd like be it. in heaven. Super set. S mar marque. Originalet. I'm doing like the wrong accent. These look like um did you want to open it? They're like those things we used to get from Thorntons. Oh no, they're a lot harder. Do you wanna that? Cheers. I Cheers. wonder if this is the super sour. This thing. is Svensk Tradition Sedan. Mmm, that flavour mm. is delicious. I love it. Oh my god. 
These are really good, actually. If you want a sour sweet, they are perfect for you. They're really good. I would say on the scale of sourness, they are up there, aren't they? They're more sour than any American sour sweet we've had so far. Yeah. So now we have people going, no, we've got sour. No, and these are really sour. Stuff. Um, I would say they're really like hard to bite mm. into, but that's quite nice actually with the whole tang. I actually really like those. Yeah, they were good. I'm gonna go eight. I'm gonna give them an eight because they're good, but it's not the kind of thing I would buy. No, like but I wouldn't I sit and munch it. on the back of those, but yeah. they are delicious. Right, should we go for a plop? <laughs> plop. I like the branding of that. Yeah. Ooh, milk chocolate with the sweet toffee filling. Although I would say caramel for that. Plop was launched in 1949 and is still as popular. I love the colors. Is that a good plop? Mm. Mm. That has really leaked out, hasn't it? Mm. That plop. <laughs> That's disgusting. Hmm, that's really enter. strange. The chocolate's almost grainy. I don't know if it's the caramel or the chocolate. It's really sweet. Mm. It's not that chocolatey to me. I guess that's a different style of chocolate. But... That first when I bit into that, I was like, mm, I don't like that. But then it got better as I tried it, but I don't know if that's like the first chocolate we tried. Yeah. I'm not so sure about that. I'm not so sure about that. I can't really taste the caramel either. I mm. think it's seeped out everywhere. I think I'm going to give it a six. It's I'll a shame because it... I had such high hopes for a plot. Yeah, it... <laughs> but um, it just. I was wasn't. hoping it'd be a good one. I would probably <laughs> give her a six as well. She's here all week. Shall we see what um, this bag is here? Yes. Ooh, what's Polly? Who's Polly? Which... Oh, this is Cloetta as well. Oh, so same brand. Polly are a tough marshmallow-like candy with a cover of chocolate. I wonder if we'll be able to get a sense of if, if the chocolate is the same. It's the same, or it's I'll just let it you was open. the caramel. Oh, they're smaller than I expected. Oh, I was expecting them to be really big. Well, well, like the photo. Yeah. Oh, I think some of these are I milk and some of these by, um, are dark. Tough. It's like a firm marshmallow. I quite like it because they're like spongy. Mm. It's not very like chocolatey. No. I can't taste any cocoa. Like I wonder how much chocolate is in there. It's more like American chocolate where it's mm. almost like sweet. It's sweet and mm. it's not being made out of like cacao and mm. milk. And I I didn't actually mind the dark chocolate one. The dark chocolate wasn't too bad mm. actually. I like the um, idea of that. I wish we had something like that over here with cap. I like that. I'm getting that taste again. I like it when I'm eating it, and then afterwards I'm getting this taste, which it's is really off putting. It's um, quite sweet. I was thinking they're better than a plop, but I've got that taste in my mouth. No, they're definitely think it better is. than a plop. No, I I'd prefer. Say seven. No, the plop's better than that. I'm going to give them a five. <laughs> really? Yeah, I'd much rather have a plop. <laughs> yeah, Alex loves a plop. <laughs> That's a bit personal. <laughs> prefer to keep those things private. <laughs> Can I pick next? Yeah. Well, we've got quite a few like packets of like sweet things here. Ooh. Should we go here? These look Ooh, interesting. Yeah, interesting. Brio. Brio. Fruit. fruit. Original. Fruit. And they're from the brand Malaco. Mm. Ooh, easy opening. Can I try it? Yeah, please do. Mm. I not say it was easy. Nope. That was not easy opening. Have Cheers. you got one? Yeah, I've got two. Cheers. I'm going to go for one of these peachy ones look nice. Oh, really true. Really hard. Mm. Good flavour though. Oh, there's nails. They have the chuck. They're really solid, aren't they? Mm. Oh. I thought this was easy open. They have the taste. Kind of like Mentos. That sort of flavour. Not too artificially flavoured. And they're also not very fruity. Quite natural. Yeah. But I can appreciate the flavour. It's yeah. really nice. Good flavour. I just wish they were in a soft, softer soft one. But it's what you get used to if theirs is like that. Yeah. But this is such a strange packet. Can we Should try we go this? go for that, yeah. So it says Gador Pike Swedish Fish. Oh. I think it is. No. What? This is Swedish Fish. This is Swedish Fish. With taste of you elderflower. Are you listening to me? Swedish Fish. Yeah, like I'm these red things. I'm listening to you, yes. But they're... Is one. this the equivalent? How different could they be? With taste of elderflower, made from a small licorice producer in Malmo. These are fantastic. One of my favourites, she says. Malmo? Oh, 
I've heard of that. I love the bag. Have pike. you filmed that? Pike is a type of fish though. Yeah. So apparently this is the Swedish version of a Swedish fish. How different. Mmm. really taste the elderflower. Mm. Maybe the different fish are different flavours. Mmm. They are really good. You can really taste the elderflower. Mm. Love that. And it's quite natural tasting as well. It's not really artificial, artificy. I've never had an elderflower sweet. Mmm. It's so delicate. Nice, isn't it? Much better chew to this, mm. it's softer. I'll give that an eight. This is the kind of thing I can get behind. On the sweet scale, I'm gonna give this a 10. I really like that. Yeah. Mm. Not too sweet, not too artificial. Nice bite. Mm. What do you think to those to the American Swedish fish? I prefer those to the American Swedish fish. Do That's you know why what? I gave them a 10, and I don't think I gave Swedish fish a 10. No, they are absolutely delicious. Mm. But like the Swedish fish have got a completely different bite to them. Yeah. They've bite. got an even softer bite again, because they're quite soft to bite into, but then they've got a chew. Well, There's the actually, I find the other ones quite Almost easy like to foamy. bite through, yeah. Yeah. Should we go Tutti Fruity original? Yeah, why not? Don't know why, but that original just looks like Orangina. Orangina. Yeah, and the logo. Yeah. We've got a lawsuit on our hands. Open, it's time to get fruity. So they've got a few of these easy seals, but mm. they're not. Soft, fresh and fruity jelly candy with a taste from apple, pear, raspberry and lemon. Pear, that's not something mm. you often see. That's nice. And um, with the that's bean... That's going to be, should be nice and light as with well, With the bean gelatin free, there'll be a completely different um, texture, I think. Yeah. Do you want one? I think I want a raspberry. Yep, yeah, you know, we will. I know you, yeah. Ooh. I've known you a while now. Mmm. Mm. That's my kind of chew. Me too. Try orange. Mm. Trying a pear. Wait. Trying a pear. Well, my favourite is definitely the strawberry raspberry. Yeah. The pear's second. Have it's you had a limon? Pear. Have you had a limon? Yeah. I'll try the limon. Pear's nice, actually. Mm. I'll say they're nice. Yeah. Very Eight good. and a half. Nine. Not as good as the real Swedish me. fish. No. But good. And this is fruit and nut, I'm guessing, because it's fruit, fruit, fruit. Marabou, fruit, and mandel. mandel. Milk chocolate with fruit and almond. Mandel is almond. Mm. Marabou is the biggest chocolate brand in Sweden, and these chocolate bars come in a lot of different tastes. This is my absolute favorite. I've just started. Is I feel like if I say this in a video, I'll have to stick to it. So I just recently started learning Spanish on the app Duolingo. Me too. For a bit of fun. And also because I seem to end up going to Spain quite a lot or Spanish countries. So, is anyone else learning a language on Duolingo? I bet Swedish is probably quite a hard language to learn. I reckon. I wonder what this is going to be like. Peace for you. Thank you. Two for me. Oh. That doesn't sound very different with their chocolate mm. in Sweden, aren't they? I feel like if that didn't have the fruit and nut in, I probably wouldn't like it so much. Mm. But with that fruit and nut, that's delicious. Mm. I really like that. Yeah, fruit and nut, so yeah. Really chocolate. So different to ours, mm. isn't it? Although I'd say this is more like ours compared to the other chocolate. I don't think it's bad. It's just, it's definitely not like Capri's. It's a bit more like Nestle, don't yeah. you think? Have you seen this? Mmm, Sedan 1916, which means from. It's, it's been mmm mm, since. since 1916. Mm. I'm not going to jump for joy, but I do think it is nice. Oh, I think fruit, fruit and nut is one of my favourite types of. Mm, that's really good. Mm. Should we stick to chocolate? No, oh, they're a bit more. No, I've oh, tried. Oh, 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 oh. I don't think this is going to be nice. Oh, really? Because our or the milk one we tried was not nice. Oh, is it? and look. Who's this collabed with? Oh, Marabou. The same company as that chocolate we just tried. Let's have a look. So, like Cadbury's collab with Oreo. So a mixture of classic milk chocolate with a filling of vanilla and crispy cocoa bits. Tastes like Hershey's cookies and cream. That's not what you want to hear. <laughs> That's the last thing I wanted to hear. Although I did just realise I never like it when Oreo yeah, is in a like chocolate it. bar because it's the, the dairy milk one. It's so nice. oddly creamy. I don't know why it has to be so creamy. Oreos aren't that creamy. No. The main flavour of an Oreo is the chocolate biscuit I always think. There's not a lot of chocolate on this, only like a little outer thin, shell. The thinnest bit of chocolate ever. Surprisingly better than the milker one. I'm not sure it's got that 
I think that's too creamy for me. Like for me, I would just prefer it if they put just chunks of the biscuit in. Mm. Forget the creamy stuff. That was nice. Because the, the, you get the smallest amount of the creamy stuff in an Oreo, don't you? Yeah, Unless you get the, get double, the double, double stuff. stuff. Yeah, but even then, it's still more biscuit, I think. I'm going to give I, that a, a six. No, I really like that, actually. I don't. And actually, I like that just as much as the fruit and nut, and I oh, gave I that nine to I prefer the fruit and it. nut every day. Eight every and a half. Every day of the week. Ooh, those pink things look interesting. I know yeah. you've got loads of stuff here, but those pink things look really interesting. Sura and Salta. I reckon this is sweet and sour. Ooh, well done, Kate. These are super sour hard candies with a salty licorice powder inside. Ooh. I don't know if I can do this. Oh. I'm not the, fan, the biggest fan of licorice. And I'm not the biggest fan of hard sweets. But or sour. Or sour. Here we go. <laughs> so sour. Oh my god. Wow. Woo! Do you know in Michael Jackson's songs, he used to be like, Hoo! Hee! <laughs> this is how he did it. Woo! Hee hee! Hee hee! Well, that has faded now. I, I want to experience that again. Mm. There you go. <laughs> You've got to be like the second time. So it was good the second time? Mmm. Mm. It's gone kind of creamy. It almost sour. Mm. Ooh, that's interesting. Now the sourness is gone, it does just taste a little bit salty. Um. So oh. salty! <laughs> I feel like I've just wanted a load of seawater. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> it's just, you swimming along and wave hit you in the face. Mmm, that is salty. So salty, I didn't taste any licorice. I'm tasting the licorice. Oh my god! <laughs> it's like having a tequila shot or something and you didn't even want one. I was not expecting that. Oh my I'm god, gonna say you imagine giving that to a child and not telling them what's yeah. inside? <laughs> I think I, that was a seven that slid down to a six. I think that was like a... That sour is excellent. Mm. On the scale of sourness, that's a ten. Yeah, that's and probably more sour than these were. Yeah, the taste was really nice. It's got mm. almost like raspberry, isn't it? And then I'm sorry, that salty middle is, oh. That's so weird. Weirdest thing I've yeah. ever had. Wasn't what I was expecting at all. But pretty awesome though, isn't it? Mm. That flavor is awesome. And so unique to Sweden, don't you think? Yeah, I think so. Did you notice these? Yeah, I did, there's two of them. Delicato Originalet. And it says Delicato Bock. And then it says the something Godball. <laughs> It says, Swedes love to eat chocolate balls when they thicker, which is something typical Swedish. If you do not bake your own, you can buy these in any supermarket. These chocolate balls has a matcha, match, matcha flavor and are covered with cocoa and coconut. Fika is Swedish for a coffee break. That's more about socializing than drinking coffee. That's my coffee break. I don't actually drink coffee. I think that's why, although I love coffee, I think that's why a lot of people drink coffee. is more because for Because it's the, social. Mm. Let's have a fika now. Oh, You've got to oh, take a really big bite because you like don't coffee. think. Oh, it does smell like coffee. It's amazing. I've never tried anything with that texture or that flavour. You can almost like taste the crunch of sugar. Mm. That is an interesting flavour combination. I reckon if that didn't have the coconut on or the coffee flavour, because I, I reckon they come in different flavours, didn't they say? Yeah. So I'll probably just give that like a five. That's fascinating. I think I'm gonna give it um, a seven and a half. I think it's good, but at the moment it's a little bit like odd to me. But I yeah. think if I had if more of that- If you had more of that, you'd really enjoy it, I would I think. love that. Billa, Algren's Billa. Billa equals cars. Small marshmallow-like candy pieces in the shape of little cars. Many say that the different colors taste exactly the same, but I disagree. The white one is my favorite. Well, let's see if we can find any difference in the flavor. Ooh, you want a pink one? I'd wanted a white one. I'll try a pink one as well. well. I wouldn't say marshmallow. No. They're more like that spongy, like bananas. Hmm. Did you try a white one? Yeah. You think there's a flavour difference? I think so. A little bit. I don't think it's... The white one tastes a bit more plain. I can taste a little difference. The, these ones, the white ones, almost have like a... Um, oh, minty. A little bit like a... That's the word. Minty burn afterwards. Mm. They're almost like our fun gums, you know, we used to have the brush and teeth. Oh, yeah. I think they're more like that. That is minty at the end. Yeah. I swear it is. 
Hold on. Breathe in. My, breathe out American mouth. oxygen. Whoa! Uh oh. <laughs> when I breathe in, it's as if I've had like a mint. My mouth feels. Larkisal. Hold those up. Larkisal. Licorice. Parcels. Oof. Oh my word. She's literally just put licorice pastels on. Oh! <laughs> it's like a battery. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was, it was like it burnt my tongue. Good job we didn't put that all in. I just don't want to put it in my mouth. That's like the inside of the salty licorice thing. Was it meant to be like electricity burning through your tongue? Have you put it all in? Mm. You just don't get it on your tongue. Uh, I can't do that. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but why is that? Why would you I almost gagged a bit? Why would, how could you enjoy eating that? Is that why she literally put licorice parcels? Didn't give us any more information. Yeah. That's the smallest bit of information. That is brutal. Can you let us know if you actually like these yeah. or if you did You're this just on trying purpose? To, just trying to trick us. They're a zero. They're a one. They're a minus two. Yeah, probably. Yeah. They've like done something to my head. No, there was already something wrong with your head. <laughs> mean. I feel like these are licorice as well, so should we yeah. get them out of the way? Yeah. What, what are they called? These are called Jungle Vrau. Wow. Freely translated as Jungle Raw. Small bullets of salty licorice. <laughs> A Swedish candy since forever, just like vile. Either you love them or you hate them. I love them just as all black licorice. After watching a lot oh, of- Oh, so she will like those things. <laughs> After watching a lot of taste tests on YouTube, I have understood that only Swedes know how to appreciate them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's even more, oh my God, I dare you put it all in and put it on your tongue. <laughs> Why is there so much salt like, on it? Hold on, is this why she says don't be sick? Oh no, that's Liz, wasn't it? I literally can't even taste that. Wow. Wow. I thought I was gonna gag. What I'm sorry, Madeline, but I cannot eat that. So should we try these then, the vile? Yeah. Why, are they licorice as well? Because they are vile. <laughs> vile. <laughs> the Swedish word for violet. Small pas parcels that have been a Swedish sit sweet since the dinosaurs, almost. It's irritating, hard, and gets stuck in every tooth when eating them, but they're so good. Are you ready for this? Not oh, really. they're literally like the last thing without salt on. No way. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna cheat bite into that. <laughs> Take them all in my teeth out. Oh, that does taste like palmer violets. God, yeah. It's harder. Now I can, I think these are the sweets you were talking about. Yeah. If so, I can taste what you mean. Mm. And that's why she really liked palmer violet. Hmm, I like that. Really nice flavour actually, but it's the type of sweet, like she said, annoyingly hard. Yeah. Like, I think I would get annoyed. Yeah. But if you're sat in a car journey, that might be yeah. good. Not creme, which I'm guessing is nut cream, which is, I'm guessing you a bit like... nuts. <laughs> I reckon this is like Nutella, as people say. Yeah. Or as we Not say, cream. Nutella. Hazelnut cream. Ooh. I reckon you'd love this on some like toast or something. I don't really like things like this on toast. Mm. Mm. That's really nice, because that's actually really nutty, which I really like. That's more like Whereas, the inside of Kinder Bueno. Well, it is, yeah. To me, that's much nicer than Nutella. Yeah, because it's less, it's less chocolatey. Nutella's quite chocolatey yeah. and a little bit nutty, whereas this is more nutty. Yeah, that's quite nice, actually. That is good. Look at that, an eight. I feel that. Eight, yeah. You'd love that on top of a biscuit, wouldn't you? <laughs> These are like the ones we got from the Q8 box. These are literally the same as that box from Q8. Candy bits with taste of fruit. Came in 1916 at 60 and has been a popular sweet since then. These small box of candies are popular with smaller children. It's like a little box of um, raisins. Raisins, yeah. <laughs> I'm just thinking that. They're not bad, actually. The flavour, actually, now I've got a really artificial like flavour in my... Mouth. Got and Blandat, freely translated, good and mixed, was launched in 1979. The, the name comes from the fact that the content of the bag at that time 
could vary depending on what was produced at the factory at that time. Over time, this product became so popular that the bag always was made with that same content. Oh, no way. Is that licorice? I think so. Oh, look, is that a Swedish fish? Oh, but I don't mind it. That's a Swedish fish. Oh, it is a Swedish fish. Oh, look, it's a mixture. I reckon these are the people who make Swedish fish in. Where were you? Oh, it tastes like licorice as well. I don't mind that kind of licorice, though. Mmm, mm, the red one, really good. Well, that one's a different texture. Try that. I reckon you'll like that. Mmm, very nice. More like elderflowery. Mm. Nice soft chew, that. Really good, those. I think that's licorice. Mm. I prefer those to the fru fruets. What are the fruits? The ones you didn't try. And these are all the same, I think. Tutti frutti. Mmm. Chewy. Not really chew well, they are chewy. But then they're not, are they? No. Good, good, good flavour though, these. That's a nice flavour. I like that they're little monkeys sat down. Little monkeys sat down, yeah. yeah. Having a plop. <laughs> I say they've got them blended with the ones are my favourite. Yeah, they're nice and chewy. Then those and then the fruit mm. pops things. Okay, now if you thought we were finished, we're not. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's another one. Oh, look, there's another one. Oh, 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 there's another one. I reckon so. From the cross hatching, I would say so. Mm. So good. I don't know what I mean there. I think it's Try like that. a, a gobstopper. Mmm, that is nice. Mm. Although it's still got that sweet milk chocolate. Yeah, thing. it is sweet. Oh, is this like, like a toffee or something? Cola bear, cola bottles. Now that's a nice chew. Mm. Can I say a cola bottle? Try that. Oh, this is a hem cola. Nodger. <laughs> <laughs> Nodger. Nodger classic. Mmm, this is really good when you get it, guy. Good word. What is that? Like milk chocolate, marshmallowy, and the cream sunshine. This is candy people as well. Mm. It's like a little pick and mix thing. Oh, this is nice. Ooh, Sir Pat Ron. I reckon that's really sour. Is that strong? Mm-hmm. Put that in. Shall I try this first? Mmm, that cola bottle is good. Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. Quite nice, that. Oh, right. Sour, isn't it? I think Sweden have got the sourest candies. Mm. No wonder. I think they tried something sour and said not sour. Oh, no, it's nice. Nice, nice that I've got through, yeah. Well, that looks sour. That does look sour. Not. Pickle, then. Is that a pickle, then? Okay. I say my favourite things from them is this Hem Cola, original. It's like a toffee. Mm. Delicious. And the Geisha. It's almost like a Kinder Bueno. Well, I really enjoyed this Hex. Mm. Although, Kex, Kex, sorry, Kex. Although the um, the chocolate was quite sweet. And I really enjoyed What was the really other thing like I really that enjoyed? Toffee. Oh, that toffee thing. Yeah, that was good. Thank you, thank you, thank you to Madeline for sending us all of that amazingness. Such amazing stuff, wasn't it? Incredible. And you sent us so much as well. Yeah. When I saw this box, I was like, I've not, never, we've never been given a box like a this long, size. Yeah. I was thinking, I wonder how much is actually in there mm. compared to like the other boxes. And wow, you exceeded all expectations. I think this is probably as much as our biggest ever box. I think so. That was incredible. Did you mm. enjoy that? Oh, I love that so much. What about you? I really enjoyed that. Such a different range of things to try, wasn't there? And it was amazing because it was different flavour again. Although like the Christmas stuff was similar flavour, there was so much salty and like licorice oh stuff word. that we're not used to and we haven't tried it in the American and stuff. And it was nice seeing and hearing that a lot of these are really old and they've still yeah, been going for you know such a long time. Madeline is actually already subscribed to our British Candy Box, so to say thank you, we want to give you your next box for free. And guys, if you'd like to try one of our British Candy Boxes, we'll leave a link in the description box down below, or click above there, and you can get yourself a British Candy Box. Get excited, because soon it's going to be Halloween themed, and we're also going to be doing an epic two months for Christmas. Get one of those, I'm excited. Get involved. Yeah, so thank you so much for sending us such an awesome box. We really, really appreciate it. Yeah, we loved it. Thank you for watching, guys. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you very soon. Bye. See ya.